My favourite game ever that I got to go to was probably Olympiakos 2004. I've got the Greek heritage. We were thrown in the Anfield Road end on the left side of the net and on the right were all the Greeks. I speak Greek, they spoke Greek. <laughs> I understood everything they were saying. They were giving it large at 1-0 with Rivaldo's goal. I just had Stevie G's thoughts in my head all day. Don't want to wake up tomorrow in the Europa League. Don't want to wake up tomorrow. We were geared up for such a massive night. I don't know what it was, but you could feel in the air that it, something special was going to happen. That's why Rivaldo's goal was such a killer for us. And we had just had a real, real long, long break in the middle of that game. I remember thinking three goals, second half. I mean, we had some good players in there. Loving Alonso, Garcia, they were all looking great. Like Stevie G was at his peak. I mean, we there was always a belief, but you just felt like it was happening again. Like it was just bad luck happening again. And uh, when Neil Mellor got brought on, <laughs> I was the one obviously who was screaming, how the fuck are we supposed to score three goals with Neil Mellor on the fucking pitch? And then obviously <laughs> he scored a few minutes later at which point the biggest bald scouser I've ever seen in my life turned around to me and said, that's how you fucking score when Neil Merrill on the pitch. Um, yeah, tense, tense last like 25 minutes in that game. I remember just being, we, we had to keep the momentum going. There was a lot of singing, but the Olympiacos fans were proper giving it large. Just kept singing UEFA, shaking their hands, UEFA, UEFA. And no matter how much we believed, there was always a chance that we were just going to wake up in the UEFA Cup the next day. And then everything just stopped at like the 86th minute. I don't, it was right in my eye line. Right, I was right behind Stevie G when he hit that fucking shot. And like, we didn't need Andy Gray's commentary in the ground. It was all right looking back on it, but the moment that ball went in, I, I, pff, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose, like I've never witnessed anything like it. I mean, it was almost as though we believed at that point. It really is true. When I hear people, it's, it's almost a cliche now, but when I hear people talking about the moment that happened, you felt something was something special was on the cards that season. Like, you really just did. I've never, I've never felt anything like it. Anyway, that's my record of possibly the best game I've ever seen live from Liverpool FC. Olympiacos, December 8th, 2004. Magical, magical memories for me and exactly the reason why I love Liverpool FC. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you agree or disagree or tell us what your favourite game was. Other than that, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Do all those things. Let's get the word around. Liverpool FC forever. So we've got a brand new range of merchandise available as modelled by Mr Paul Machen. We've got the Dreams and Songs signature collection as well. Go and check out the new site. Do it now and help support the show.